know, she did a lot. She helped to make it the way it is. She's a sweet woman, and I'm happy to call her my friend. Very instrumental. Just like, we, we need to build her a statue here. Let's just say she's a very good person. Eleanor Ditton is a recipient of the 2022 Pauline S. Miller Lifetime Achievement Award for her preservation of Ocean County history. Eleanor's contribution to local and county history has paved the way for historians of the future and left a positive impact in her community. She should have this award. She's worked hard for it. Yes, she's worked very hard. She took what she learned um, and she moved it forward. I think Eleanor is very deserving because she has worked hard. If she didn't do what she's doing, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. You know, I'm hoping that I'm a next generation coming up that I know things about this town that I could pass them on. And um, so I think each generation, um, we need to continue working on it. Eleanor has been very active in the town in many, th many ways. So I think she's deserving of everything that she gets, really. She really should have this award because she worked hard for everything and she spent many hours here, many hours, <laughs> and she's done a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not a person that likes to advertise, um, so I was very surprised to be nominated. But it's an honor to, to be um, nominated to be a historian, even though I'm not. I don't think I'm a historian. I just became interested through the work of Stella Wilbur, Betty Grant, and Charlotte Lane, um, and the formation of the Historical Society. And Stella Wilbur, who lived in Forked River, got together with these other two ladies Mrs. Grant and uh, Charlotte Lane, and they decided to form a historical society, and they petitioned the township of Lacey to let them use the schoolhouse as a museum. Eleanor's passion for history stems back decades and has become an integral part of her life. See, I was born in 31, so I've lived here, I'm 91, or will be 91. So uh, I've lived here since I was uh, 13. I can always call her and ask her something I need to know, and she usually has an answer. <laughs> Eleanor and I have become very close over the years. Our husbands were very good friends, and uh, we like to talk about all different things in a town, family. I have, I have a big one, she has a smaller one. And uh, our children have gone to school together. So we have a lot in common. We did everything together, it was very nice. I, would, I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world. Eleanor encourages all to invest time in learning about their local history. The friendships and lessons she learned are some of the fondest memories of her career. Eleanor emphasizes that preserving history brings the community together. I think it's important to have a historical society, to learn the history of your town, your area, your country. Because if nobody tells you, you don't know. They would never know what happened here before if we didn't have it. You know, they would never know what they know today about years ago unless they had a historical society where you could go and find out things. If you don't tell people what went on, they don't know. They come into town and they think, oh, it's always been like this, you know. We just moved here because taxes are low. No, it hasn't always been like this. You know, there were hard times. Well, I'm hoping that the place never goes away <laughs> and that the children continue to come in and learn things that I have learned from being here. My message would be to get involved and learn about your community and um, if you don't know, ask. If you have suggestions, suggest them.